Now let's look at punctuation. We are on page 19. What are punctuation marks? Punctuation marks are symbols which help organize the structure of a of written language. They also indicate intonation and pauses to be observed when reading aloud. So they tell you when to stop, when to pause, and what intonation you should have while you're reading. For example, if there's a comma, you have a rising tone to show that there's something more to come. Okay, when there's a full stop, you stop. When there's a comma, you pause and then continue. Punctuation also helps avoid ambiguity in expression. What is ambiguity? Confusion. If you punctuate your written language correctly, you can avoid ambiguity. You can avoid confusion. In this age of instant messaging and chatting, punctuation is often neglected. That means when you text your friends, you don't usually punctuate your messages. And not punctuation, more not punctuating messages or using the wrong punctuation can lead to confusion and other problems. Okay. This becomes a major problem, especially when you're required to write essays, proposals, letters, etc. The correct use of punctuation marks, punctuation marks lends accuracy to a written text, while incorrect usage of punctuation can lead to miscommunication and confusion, like I just mentioned. Here's a quick reference guide to some commonly used punctuation marks. A few tasks have been included to help you practice their correct usage. Let's look at the use of comma. The comma is used to separate elements in a list of three or more items, which means if there are just two items, you don't use a comma. You put a, you put, you add the word and. Okay. If there are more than two, three or more, then you use commas. For example, she is active on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and several other lesser known social networking sites. So you can see that there are three items here. Okay. So we use commas. Let's go to the next page. A comma is also used before certain conjunctions like but, else, so, etc. For example, you have, she's a good writer, comma, but she doesn't like blogging. He needs to stop surfing the internet during working hours, comma, else he will lose his job, else or otherwise, okay, it means otherwise then. Commas are also used to separate introductory elements in a sentence. For example, given the increasing number of people preferring to buy tablets, it is not surprising that the usage of mobile data is increasing. We also use commas to separate parenthetical elements in a sentence. What are parenthetical elements? The words or the information that you put within parentheses. What are parentheses? The symbols that we call brackets. They are brackets, okay? The ones that we draw like that. But they are not actually brackets. They are supposed to be called parentheses, right? So whatever information you would like to put between parentheses, you can also put them between commas, okay? For example, you have... According to a survey, half pages, comma, a site that holds user creative content, comma, was ranked the 10th, sorry, 104th most visited site in the US. So the extra information that you would like to put in parentheses, here you have them between commas. What do you have between commas here? A site that holds user created content. Okay, that is extra information you're giving, and you put commas instead of Parentheses. Okay, let's remember that comma splice is a general error that occurs when a comma is used to connect two independent clauses. 
That is, when you use a comma instead of a full stop, which is an error. Okay, for example, you have Jenny regularly posts updates on her Facebook wall, comma, all the friends regularly comment on her updates. You don't need a comma here. You need a full stop. So this is an error called comma splice. Now let's look at task 19. Please read the instruction and do the exercise. And then when, uh, when you finish, we will discuss the answers. Insert commas at the correct places in these sentences. Number one, the recipe required flour, sugar, eggs, and cream. So the comma comes after flour and sugar. Okay, flour, comma, sugar, comma, eggs, and cream. Number two, once the storm had subsided, comma, people returned home from the makeshift shelters. Number three, we intended to visit Kuru as well, comma, however, we couldn't for lack of time. Number four, Sangvi, an avid social media user, decided to spread awareness about the air pollution in her city. The extra information given here is an avid social media user. Okay, so you put commas before and after this piece of information. Number five, I cannot afford a house in Bangra, so I'm moving to Milan. So the comma comes after Bangra. Okay, now let's move on to the apostrophe. An apostrophe is used in contracted words, meaning when you join two words to make them one. For example, you have I am, these two words become I'm when you put an apostrophe between them. Who is becomes whose, they are becomes their, we are becomes we are, okay? We also use commas, sorry, apostrophes to indicate possession. When you want to show that something belongs to somebody. For example, the actors' movies are hugely popular. Actors' movies, that means the movies belong to the actor. Okay, we need to remember that when we're using the apostrophe, we need to put them in the right place. For example, you have the student's marks were satisfactory. If it's a singular student, only one student, then after the word student, you put the apostrophe. But if you mean plural, students as a plural, then you put the apostrophe after the plural word, after S. Okay. Let's do task 20 now. Please read the instruction, do the activity, and then we can discuss the answers. Insert apostrophes at the correct places in these sentences. Number one, Raja Ravi Varma's paintings have become a part of the Indian imagination of the epics. So the apostrophe comes after Varma. Varma apostrophe S. Number two, my friend's flat is located in one of the most expensive localities in the city. The apostrophe comes after the word friend. Friend apostrophe S if it is one friend. But if two or more friends live in the same flat, we can put the apostrophe after S. Okay. Number three, the senior surgeon's opinion was to go ahead with the surgery. The apostrophe here comes after surgeon. If it is just one surgeon's opinion, but if it was the opinion of several surgeons, more than one surgeon, then you put the apostrophe after S, surgeon's apostrophe. Okay. Number four, who's taken the books that were on my table? Here is a contraction of who is, which becomes whose. So the apostrophe comes after who, who apostrophe. S. Number five, the children's section is located on the right-hand side of this bookstore. 
The apostrophe comes after children. Children apostrophe s. Now let's look at colon. The colon is used to introduce an idea that is an explanation or a confirmation of the one that comes before it. For example, he was very happy with the results. Colon. He had put in a lot of hard work. So the second half after the colon, you know, the information that is there after the colon gives us extra information about the previous part of the sentence. So he was very happy because he had put in a lot of hard work. A, co a colon is also used to introduce a list. For example, I need a research assistant who can do the following. Colon. Assist me in lectures, check and complete journal articles, and maintain the equipment in the lab. The colon is also used to introduce quoted material. For example, Gandhi said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. So, Gandhi said, colon, what did he say? The exact words that Gandhi used are quoted here. Okay, so before that you use the colon. We must note that in uses one and two, if the initial clause cannot stand on its own, then the colon must not be used. For example, he is an active, sorry, he is active on Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. That's correct. But if you say he is active on colon, Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp, that is not correctly punctuated. Okay. Now let's do task 21. Please read the instruction, do the activity, and then we will discuss the answers. Insert colons are the correct places in these sentences. Number one, you have only one lifeline, colon, use it while you can. Number two, on your Facebook profile, you can do the following, colon, upload your profile photo, indicate your likes and interests, create albums of your favorite moments, and include a cover photo. Number three, I can understand just one thing from Southwick Streets, colon, he is traveling all over the world. Number four, a scientist said, colon, we need to increase our focus on research to encourage the spirit of innovation among the youth. Number five, make a note of the items you need to carry to the camp, colon, a torch, sleeping bag, and safe ticket. Now, let's move on to semicolon. The semicolon is used to separate items in a complicated list. For example, in the seminar today, we have Professor Raj, IIT Delhi, Professor Swaroop, NIT Warangal, Dr. Madhusudan, Director of Forensic Research Institute, Hyderabad, and Dr. Swati, Chairman of Legal Aid Cell. The semicolon is also used to separate closely related independent clauses. For example, social media sites permit greater sharing of information. They also put one's privacy at risk. Please note, the difference between use one of colon and use two of semicolon is that while the colon is used for explanatory and supportive information, the semicolon is used to introduce additional or contrary information. Now, let's do task 22. Please read the instruction, do the activity, and then we will discuss the answers. Check if the semicolon has been used properly in these sentences and correct it where required. Number one, I'm allergic to cottage cheese based curries. Semicolon, milk-based products do not agree with me. There is no error here. 
Number two, Kerala is a lovely place that has beautiful beaches and lovely weather. You need a semicolon after place because it's giving us extra information about Kerala. Number three, the social media usage fell sharply in the hostel last week. Many students were preparing for exams. There is no error here because it's giving us extra information about what happened. Number four, in the meeting today, we have semicolon, no, no semicolon, put a colon there. Actually, number four, in the meeting today, we have no semicolon, okay? No semicolon. Mr. Sachit Bhagat, CEO, Media Tech, semicolon. Mr. Piyush Korak, Director, Soltex Marketing, semicolon. Ms. Pratima Shah, Chairperson, Women Entrepreneurs Association of Hyderabad. And no semicolon. Mr. Satish Sehgal, Assistant Manager, Latitude Software Solutions. Okay, so let's look at it again because it's a lot, long sentence. In the meeting today, we have, please remove the semicolon from there, Mr. Sachit Bhagat, CEO, MediaTek, semicolon, Mr. Piyush Gorak, Director, Soltex Marketing, semicolon, Ms. Pratima Shah, Chairperson, Women Entrepreneurs Association of Hyderabad, and remove the semicolon from there. This is Satish Sehgal, Assistant Manager, Latitude Software Solutions. Okay, let's go to the fifth one now. The librarian placed an order for books. No semicolon, we put a colon there. Journals, comma, magazines, and newspapers. Okay, so there are two errors here. You remove the first semicolon and put a colon and remove the second semicolon and put a comma. Okay, now let's move on to the dash or the hyphen. Most people think that the dash and hyphen are the same. They are the same, but we need to know that there are three types of dashes. The first one is a hyphen, which is a short dash. Okay, then you have n dash, which is a little longer than the hyphen. Then we have m dash, which is the longest among the three. The table here gives their uses and examples. Okay, let's look at the hyphen now. The hyphen is used to join words to indicate that they have a combined meaning. For example, low budget, first class, self-evident. Another use of the hyphen is to separate words in established compound adjectives. For example, state of the art and tongue in cheek. Okay. Then we have the N dash. The N dash is used to indicate a range like that of pages, date, chronological time, etc. For example, you have 1966 to 2000, or 34 to 100, or July to September. All these are ranges, different ranges. N dash is also used in phrases such as Democratic Republican Alliance, India Sri Lanka Pact, etc. It is it uh, does a job of the word and. Okay, for example, gas liquid chromatography or Hindi Tamil bilingual. Okay, it does the function of the word and the N dash. Okay, now let's move on to M dash. M dash is used in speech to indicate a break in thought or shift in tone. For example, 
When the book was finally delivered, nearly three weeks after she had ordered it, she decided to return it. Now, let's move to task 23. Please read the instruction and do it. And we will discuss the answers after that. Take the correct uses of hyphen, n dash, and n dash. Number one, we are expecting around 1,000 to 2,000 people at the wedding. It is a hyphen, but it must be an n dash. Slightly longer than hyphen. Okay. Number two, you may think the solution will work. It won't. It's the right one that is used over there. It is an m dash. And it is correct. This is a one-way street. Correct. There's a hyphen and it is correct. Number four. Conan Doyle was a famous 19th century novelist. We have an M dash here, which is not correct, but we need to use a hyphen. Okay. Number five. India-China relations have seen many ups and downs over the years. We have an N dash and that is the correct punctuation. 